up everybody true boxing here thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth so today we are doing the DAZN preview for Saturday June 17th as um, Regis Prograde defends his WBC 140 pound title against Danielito Zoria in his hometown of New Orleans now before we get into that if you guys could smash the like button leave a comment subscribe to the channel I really do appreciate any and all support I can get as I try to build my channel up here um, anything negative you guys want to say go ahead you can leave a thumbs down or or uh, a negative comment I'm perfectly okay with that um, you know let me know how you feel about it it's all good um, but back to the pro gray and Zodia fight you know um, pro gray was supposed to fight Liam Paro an undefeated Australian fighter that fight fell through. Uh, I think Paro got injured in training or something like that. So Zodia stepped in. And a lot of people are looking at this fight as a um, as a stay busy tune up type fight for Pro Gray. And um, I don't think he should necessarily look at it like that way because I remember Zodia's name from somewhere, and it was from when he fought Arnold Barbosa last year. Um, he all, and also he knocked out Pablo Cesar Cano the year before. So this guy is not, you know, and he's got a good knockout ratio. He's 17 and one with 13 knockouts. So he's not a guy you want to sleep on. And his, his, his lone defeat was against a top 10 fighter in Barbosa. So, you know, pro gray, I think is a levels ahead of, of, uh, Barbosa right now. I personally think Pro Gray is the best fighter besides Tiafima Lopez now at 140. And um, I really believe that uh, Pro Gray needs to go into this fight taking it full on serious. Um, I know he's talking about the fights that he wants afterwards, and that's all good and well. But he's got a shorter training camp to get prepared for this guy. And. Um, and, uh, you know, I think he needs the box and set his knockout up. And, um, and I think those are the keys to success for Regis Pro Gray. Um, for Zodia, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. He's getting his first ever crack at a world title. And he needs to try to take advantage of it. Um, if he's smart, he tries to get inside of Pro Gray. Because once you let Pro Gray extend himself and, and all that stuff, um, and actually box and punch like he knows how to do. He's going to eat you up, but he also needs to watch out for Pro Gray's uh, short shots too. Pro Gray can hit and he can hit hard. He's a tough guy, and and um, but he's gonna, he's making a key mistake if he's overlooking Danielito Zoria. And this is a perfect kind of fight for for a fighter to overlook. You're you know you got a big fight somewhere down the road, you know soon. In the second half of the year you're fighting at home you know right now you're maybe the most feared man in the division of all the champions so you're looking ahead and boom you get stopped out of nowhere and and uh, lose your title so he needs to really be on point in this fight and come at Zodia and um, and uh, like I said set the knockout up with a, a boxing punching technique and go out there and get the win so that's it that's what i got that's my disown preview for saturday june 17th headlined by regis pro gray versus danielito zoria by um which i got pro gray winning by a tko in the middle to later rounds as he will retain his wbc title i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash the like button leave a comment subscribe to the channel i appreciate any and all support this is true boxing You've been here with the truth.